Nowadays, everyone has a hot take about AI technology. Don't worry, I'm not here to do that. But let's just go over some of the past headlines. AI will solve global problems. AI will make us dumber. AI will take your job. AI will free up your time. And I get it. It's a bit scary. It's a bit exciting. But overall, it's way too early to tell. And one thing I will say is AI technology will never replace your creativity. I recently had a conversation with one of my good friends and fellow filmmakers, Jake, about what AI technology means for filmmakers and how we should approach it. Here's that conversation. That's the whole thing behind AI technology is like, as videographers, video producers, any fancy title you wanna throw on there with video, we need to embrace these tools, right? These are tools that are gonna help us. They're not gonna hurt us. They're not gonna take away from any jobs or anything like that. We just need to learn how to use, and use them and harness them so that they're able to, instead of hiring two to three more employees, utilize some softwares, right? Utilize some tools that are out there and don't try to reinvent the wheel. I think even for me, I was looking at, man, I wish there was like a, a process with even just editing podcasts where it was like a little bit faster, right? Because a lot of the times, I mean, we've had, we've already had a few dud moments in this podcast that we're recording right now, right? You have these moments where just anybody could really edit them. And you're just taking away like little mess ups or things like that. So like, I mean, what are your thoughts? Like, is there anything that you see with AI technology that like gets you excited? I think just doing the job much more efficiently, taking on clients even more uh, because these AI tools and softwares can help you take on, let's say maybe three, three hour podcasts where you click a button and it does 80% of the work. Maybe it doesn't do 100% of the work. You got to fix and adjust a couple right, things, right. but that saves you that much more time so then you can do hey i got two more projects that i have time for let me go and take care of those yep and i think a lot of maybe some people might think that ai is going to take our jobs and then our clients are just going to use ai to take care of everything and i don't see it that way i see it as a tool for us videographers in the industry to use utilize to make our jobs that much faster easier I, I think the hardest part, honestly, is just to stay up to date with everything because it's happening so fast, it seems. Yeah. And the other thing is, too, is like just because things are a certain way right now, it doesn't mean they're going to be no. like later down the road. Like these are all like the first iterations of everything, right? So things are only going to get better, which is going to challenge us in our rules. Like we need to step up our game, too, right? We need to provide more value for our clients in the sense of maybe talk to them about different types of setups that you can create for them and just be instead of that person that just hits record. Or like you're actually doing some coaching while you're there and being that consulted and that trusted advisor that they, they really need. As we talked about, there's tools out there for filmmakers, things such as Adobe Podcast, Autopod, and many, many more. You as a filmmaker need to decide for yourself which to use, but I urge you to always ask one question. How is this helping me and at what cost? As a creative, you possess the skills to navigate through different contexts and situations. While AI might be good at automating certain aspects of the filmmaking process, your job will never be in jeopardy. If anything, AI will force us to become better filmmakers by acquiring new and broadening our existing skills, thanks to all of the time-saving actions that typically come with AI technology. Until next time, we'll see ya.